Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. And today I'm doing a beer that is uh, by a brewery that's highly touted. Um, and I have uh, i don't think I've ever had a podcast episode or one of these episodes that's had a beer like this on it. Um, well, kind of like this, but not from this brewery particularly. Uh, they're out of Ardmore, Pennsylvania. It is Tired Hands Brewing. And this is their Severed Goddess Hand, which clocks in at 7.5 ABV. And it is a double IPA, I believe is what they say. Yeah, double IPA. Some people say Imperial. Some people say double. It's the same. But should hopefully be good. Oh, I'm going to show you the label like I usually do. Hopefully I can make the color and the lighting better in post on this. But, I mean, they do... You, if, if you couldn't see it too well, there's nothing to really distinguish there. They do a lot of, like, random, trippy, weird type um, stuff. So, you know, there wasn't a whole lot to decipher on that. All right, so let's just pour a little bit, but make sure I have enough to still just swirl it up. All right, uh, it was what I was assuming. Um, I've had some Tired hand stuff in the past. I uh, actually went there, um, and actually talked about it on a podcast episode when we went to Philadelphia for my birthday. Uh, two years ago, I guess? Yeah. So, looks like I would assume from a hoppy beer from them. It's very hazy, very cloudy, unfiltered type look. Very juicy looking. Um, it's got a nice, like, white head to it, as you can see. It's very, um, whitish, yellowish, orangish, all coming together. But hazy nonetheless. I'm gonna swirl. Alright. What I would expect from the nose. God, super juicy. It's definitely got a Simcoe type finish on it. A lot of times on a Simcoe, I get a little bit of like a caramely finish on the nose. Um, or maybe that's actually coming from the malt, but um, it's got like a nice caramely type malt, malt or Simcoe hop finish. And it's got a, a lot of really nice citrus right up front. Mm, maybe a little bit of... No, I don't want to say mango. This does smell it's kind of familiar. Um, it sounds it smells a little bit of like their Pineal IPA, which I was a huge, huge fan of when I actually visited Tired Hands. Really juicy smelling. That caramel's so nice on the end. All that juicy, juicy, juicy citrus up front. Yeah, a little mango in there for sure. Some nice mango, maybe a little passion fruit to it. This one's really good. This one's really good. Yeah. It's quite good. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Quite nice. Very nice. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this beer is compliments of Curtis Ferguson, uh, who will be on a podcast, or two podcast episodes coming up uh, in the kind of nearish future, uh, also known as Kurt Ferg. So, Kurt Ferg, a.k.a. Curtis Ferguson, thank you very much for this. Um, really juicy up front. Very nice, thick type of mouthfeel. Coats your whole mouth. And it's got that finish, like um, that like caramelly aspect finish to it. A um, little bit of uh, alcohol rising on the end, in my perception. Um, good. I mean, it's a good beer. It's a nice beer. It's what I would probably expect from a brewery like Tired Hands. They do very good stuff. Um, this is nice. Ah, it smells, smells like, yeah. Yeah. Now, this is um, relatively cold. I just took it out of the fridge a little bit ago. So I'm going to bet that as it warms up even more, I'm going to get even more of that kind of mango to it, which I do taste some of. And um, more of like, I don't really taste that passion fruit I was talking about. The bitterness will probably go down a little bit. And uh, yeah, that caramelly aspect might get a little more creamy, a little more caramelly on the end. I like it a lot. This is very nice. Once again, everyone, thank you for checking this out. If you have any beers that you want to see me try uh, that you think I can get a hold of or you can get to me somehow, whatever, uh, send me an email, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com and... You know, we'll see what we can do. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. Thank you, Curtis Ferguson, for this beer. 
And everybody, go find yourself an awesome beer and also keep it 